we do. Okay. So number one, they provide relief. Uh, so they offer relief and support or help during that situation. So they can give food, they can put medication, uh, they can provide some shelter. You know, in uh, disaster prone areas, much of our tent, we show the area because much of our virus are good so far, no yes. So they provide relief to victims of natural disasters. Number two, uh, they serve as a liaison members. Uh, okay, in the US, serve as a liaison between members of active armed forces and their families during the crisis. So he would like to go to the ones that are in the army and their families. So in case anything happens, they, they are like a bridge. So they are soon between, uh, between members of the active, members of the active armed forces, active armed forces, and their families. We know a lot of things happen in the home. Yeah, and they also offer safety services. They give safety services and blood rights. So they could have a lot of campaign, some strange woman for offering support in terms of missing or services or youth services and this is a, uh, these are some of the functions or purposes that I'm not going to break this. So, a few way of course, I don't think organizations, they are organizations liberated or on as government, but they are going to alleviate. So they just get help from well wishes and donors so of So on the governmental health agencies, um, these are organized health agencies funded by private donations. They are funded by private donations and sometimes membership. We have private donations. Sometimes membership. Membership subscription. Why this uh NGOs why they are established so their uh, main goal is to meet and meet health needs. So meet or to fulfill unmade, unmade health need. So specifically, this NGO is supposed to liaise with the government. Okay, where is the shop for? I mean, uh, I'll tell you about it. So their sole purpose is to assist or to support the family the government is failing to uh, meet the needs of the people. So, Madam, the was there on clarification about the source of the funds from this environmental protection. We are talking about uh, for membership of other private donors. What about for the from the government? Okay, so with Kwasa, it's, I would say it's, uh, yeah, partly the government to support. 
or yes, I would say partly the dominance of posture because I come out of the task, take a single thing. I read because who do you want to take a mark? But they get uh, this same coordination, coordination support from the government. I'm a top of God's means if the government is asking, I would do it. So don't you know, come in in many offering logistics. Or when they will get here from let's say Egypt, I know who from the government, Chimanga, the Madin, Chimachan, but the government will facilitate that to the way. You understand? So yes, the government plays a role by uh, not not the funding moves into the things, but other logistics, material logistics, and also detailing the coaching. Um, in the way the is, is more very safe with our So they will get it out from, they, they have the support from the government. I mean, the was taken over range without any government interference. So, in other words, if you are trying to maybe not you know, for the assessment part of the government. Ah, no, 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 no. They, they do assess what is the location of the disaster, what are the support for? According to the needs of the people. Of the people. Yes, okay. So the government would just support to say uh, the way we have accessed this area requires a So this organization would go to if we have these items. That's where they support me. For they were going to have signed you to give so much. So you have been given the required and you know they would give you that story. Because government is necessarily receiving that government will give us for them to buy things now. But they will just support in terms of logistics. Kumu, when I will just support him to say, ah, you can give donations to your car, I will sign it. Or when I, in that case, they have, we have free items, let's say, from a city country. So I'm ready to see another international government, they will want to donate it. The government will just facilitate it that there's a way. But overall, my theory of the real dealing with those discussions of their activities is that the concern organizations. Yeah. Okay, so with um, NGOs specifically, I've said the goal is to support in uh, meeting the unhealth uh, meeting the health needs, the unmet needs. So government could have a short form. We say that uh, in this period of minutes, we have a short for vaccination. So this NGOs have that the meeting of that the individual uh um, program by the come So these are some of the short calls in this that we have and assign or then highlight to NGOs that they should support or assist. So some of the categories under the NGOs, we have voluntary health agencies. Voluntary health agencies. And we have organization. Voluntary health agencies. Professional health organization. Professional health organizations. Organizations or associations. And that group. Social and religious, uh, and religious organizations. Uh, 
So I'll just go through these uh, this categories in brief. So it's not a use of the the way the way the terminal takes. So this an organization developed or established by concerned people. Okay? Concerned people that they would want to support a certain health aspect. It could be like um, Friends of like we have Manas or we have to be what? To be saying to be generated is something like that. It's a group of insane people that want to support the advocate for TB, the uh visit and for number TB is giving them social support or other materials that they will need or that they will share with. Yeah, so specifically, these are non-profit organizations. The volunteer is a non-profit organization. It's established or done by consent citizens. Why they are establishing it? They want to do a health need, not made by government to help so some of the purposes for the voluntary health agencies, number one is to raise money to fund their programs. So they raise money or they raise funds themselves. How they raise it? It's up to them. They could do any activities or so they could ask people to support them. But number one is to raise money to fund their programs. And sometimes, mostly, uh, a huge chunk of the money goes to fund research. So they support people in research. So, number one, to raise money to fund their programs. Number two, they, and, uh, they are interested in awareness or advocacy. So they provide education to professionals and to the public. Provide education both to professionals and the public. Number three, they provide service to the people, uh, to the individuals and families afflicted or affected with any disease or health problem. So number one, they are there to raise funds. Funds to run their programs, and a huge chunk of the money that they raise goes to research. Number two, they are giving education to the professionals and to the public more of awareness or advocating programs. Number three, they provide service uh, to the individuals and families that are affected with a disease or a health condition. So it could be a group concerned with, let's say, cancer. So they would go to families and people that have been affected with cancer. They offer support, they offer I'm in a below in the unknown, I'm talking to cancer, to offer cancer and other support services. And number four, they do advocate for beneficial policies, laws and regulations. Sometimes, you know, national laws could not, could not be favorable common and in a university condition. So they are the people who like my advocate. But you know, now we look at that. It could be um for example that I'm just the way the government started incorporating 
we have seen our units being involved uh, in, in what? In the security, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, yeah. the Homeland. So it could be a move to say some people had um, agreed to advocate for that. So you advocate for a certain condition, then other people should also be or the way we have seen people who have to operate the disabled, the same the disabled that they find, the same the disabled um, in government, government agencies. And there was a client, um, it was advocated that each and every institution should be disabled friendly. Even if they could have come here, and now so they should make Scarcities for a for somebody who will share with them now. So each and every institution was supposed to be friendly for each and every person. Because they were saying, no, for all who use a wheelchair, they want to access class exam. So they, they would have made one of these steps so they would have put a a flat egg so that the person can. Yeah, so these are some of the interventions or some um, say innovations that these organizations can do. So some of the examples and um, uh, the voluntary health agencies, we have American Cancer Society, we have American Heart Association, American Lung Association. Does anyone remember the Nico Yes, I'm a gentleman. Just after about the general court. What did Okay, any questions on voluntary health agencies? How they formed some of the groups that they do at home? Okay. So, on professional health organizations, these are made up of health professionals that have uh, completed their specialized education training. So, at least they are registered, they are certified, and yeah, they have to be registered and certified in their respective nations. Why they would want to form uh, an association? So, it's specifically to promote high standards of professionalism or professional practice. So, when you finish social work, do you have an association for social workers? We have, but I think it's not very active, but people, yeah, people, you yeah, can. Is it last year they were trying to make it more active so people can raise up to subscribe? We belong to that group. So, so the mission is to promote high standards of professionalism, professional practice. Uh, mostly these members they are funded by the subscription that people do contribute. So here in Malawi it's pretty much. Malawi Social Work as far well. Association of Social Work in Malawi. Yeah. For example, Association of Social Work is in Malawi. For you to be a member, you want to subscribe. So you subscribe. Make sure you register. Other examples we have American Medical Association. Uh, American Dental Association, American Nursing Association, in Malawi, Nurses, Nurses and Midwives Council in Malawi. Like Nurses and Midwives Council in Malawi, not just one that belongs to. to to it, but you can only practice without their certification. So you can only practice in Malala as a race 
in the last time. And today we have Mrs. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? So for, for the associations that are big in nature, others have expanded to, to formulate journals. Journal where people can uh, send in their manuscripts for publication. So we have other organizations like American uh, American Medical Association, the American Journal of Public Health, the American Journal of Health Education, and so on and so forth. So these are associations that have expanded as one of their activities to establish journals where people can send in peer reviewed manuscripts for publications. Why should someone why should someone belong to uh, association of social workers in Canada? Why is, why why do you think when you finish when you graduate you may think of belonging to this association and subscribe? Why? What well, what are some of the benefits that you think you can get from from the association? In terms of interaction and social support, we can have the people come to school and provide us skill, learning for other social work, a lot of different issues. Yes. In terms of skills, any other reasons? I think it's going to be able to do more small and more development. Mm -hmm. New development. Yeah, so those are some of the uh, like responsibilities of the association that we need to do. We have to keep keep up, keep abreast of new developments that are happening in the profession. And then we offer some trainings, sometimes even international trainings. So by you belonging to them, they should at least win a select two or three members attending an international conference representing our country. So people name new things or new technologies to manage to them. So they should be able to offer some of, uh, of these benefits and yeah, activities. Okay. Any questions? Okay. And philanthropic 
in a perfect conditions. So, a philanthropic foundation is an endowed institution that donates money to the good of humanity. And in endowed institution that donates money. When you know this about these organizations that they have so much Yeah. 
can join a certain group, our selfless group, uh, we have these objectives. These are some of the activities that we're going to do. Uh, we support people in this way. Yeah, so on and so forth. So that's giving one to you. Okay. Uh, service, social, and religious organizations. What do you think that this is about the institutions? Service, social, What did they do? Some of the examples of service social organizations that you want that you want. CCG. CCG. Okay, what does CCG do? Yes. Just to send this to you. Over to the commission. Over to the commission. Over to the commission. Of course, some of its activities, they have expanded. Um, they have these uh, branches like in churches, in schools. So, yeah, they could be offering these services. And mostly they uh, play a role during elections. Right? Yeah, but we can put them under um, the private, private groups because it's, a, it's, a, it's an organization supported uh, by yeah, the Catholic Commission. Yeah, they are responding to different provisions. My agenda as well offers support to provide services in terms of which uh, that we can think of uh, rather that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. The source is on service. What does source do? People, people, and people. Where do they get their funding? That's why I wanted to ask the source. Um, source, I think, started like an organization for seeing people where I think they get private donations from people and from people. So, like, remember, I was saying these organizations, their purpose is almost the same. I was in a minute where they find uh, they are getting from. Or some of the activities that they are doing, but yeah, they will interrelate. They would be funding one. We have Rotary Club, we have Lions Club. So, in these associations, some of the activities that they do, they can volunteer. We can have members from the Rotary Club follow up with the FC clinic, training the community communities, or training in the hospitals, and so on and so forth. Other youth clubs mostly uh, they would go and donate. So I might have some of the other hand try to support people who are in communities. When we are talking about uh, religions, so these are the groups. Like the one you say, CCJP. Okay, if we're taking CCJP at a, at a national level, then we move forward on that. But if we take CCJP like a group, I mean, a church, a church, a church, a church group, right? just like in the kind of youth, youth group, uh, youth club, yeah, we need to, right? as my mother told me, they share, they teach each other things, I'm a they would go over with his daughter, something like that. Like, 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 so at that level, we can you know, put it under religious or social service. We have a group like friends of the you know, friends of the lay people that we can use for the they are contributing to us, they visit Anamasi, something like that. We can just let them go and give back to the community. Okay. 
in short, when you fall sick, you go to the hospital. The doctor is specifically interested in knowing what is the problem of your patient. So that's why the mechanic it has to write in place. So they take up some measurements, your temperature, uh, blood, um, urine, urine, all this trying to determine what can be the problem. But with um, community awareness, you are not interested in the, uh, in the diseases that people are having, but you are interested in how many have been affected by that problem in the community. So a doctor will want you as a healthy doctor, but you as a doctor of people, doctor of population, serious, interested in how many people are sick. After knowing how many they are sick, you want to know which category. So you are interested in who is sick. Are they children? Are they men? Are they men? Are they adults? And what are their achievements? Are they rich? Are they poor? In which conditions? That's where you're interested. So that's what we as situators are interested in. So that process, in that uh, scenario where you would like to know what are the diseases that people are being encountered with, in which group of people are they having uh, this disease, what are some of the attributes contributing to this type of disease, it's called the neurology. Why are they 
So cases, these are people afflicted with a disease. This is a case. So if you say this, a person, but if you say cases, these are people afflicted with a disease. So the people that are afflicted with a disease are called cases. And as in the religious you will know to understand how many cases. And how would you know that uh, this outbreak is an epidemic or is endemic? So epidemic is an unexpectedly large number of cases. And unexpectedly that's epidemic. Expected the large number of cases of disease in a particular population. We expected the large number of cases of disease in a particular population. So for, for other, for, for the diseases or for the outbreaks that will occur regularly in the population, they will be referred to as endemic diseases. So those diseases or the outbreaks that will occur regularly in the population, they are referred to as endemic diseases. So what makes an outbreak become a pandemic? So it would be called a pandemic. So an outbreak of disease over a wide geographical area, such as the continent, becomes a pandemic. So in Korea, we a poor continent, and we call it Korea a pandemic. A good example of pandemic was so an outbreak of disease over a wide geographic, so the key terminology is the geographical area. So who is an epidemiologist? Are people in this class? Are they going out to the mirror? They are just. And you have maths. Yeah, some simple maths in this situation. Who is an epidemiologist? Maybe the, the trend based on most studies, the distribution of the, the distribution and the dynamics of the yes. in the yeah. yes. So we looked at the epidemiology, what cases are who are epidemiologists case. What the pandemic is, how the pandemic diseases, what the pandemic. So, with pandemic, in 1918, there was also an influenza pandemic. You know what? 1918. So, from 1918 to 1919, there was also an influenza. You know what I'm talking about? Influenza? You know, you say you enjoy it. Influenza. Yes. Uh, yeah, influenza. 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 Why? Influenza. You know, some of us want to stay at home. You can't answer that way. Influenza. 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 
citizen. Yes, it's a disease, but what does it do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So in 1918, 1919, so I'm, I'm assuming it's a recurring, it's flu, a recurring uh, disease like COVID, and it killed uh, more oh. than 25 million people. Oh. And it's funny. Because people were as well putting masks. More than that, they were not to do. said this. So people, during 1989, they were saying, yes. All of this time, when I see they were improved, there was an improved use of the mask for pain and anxiety. So I, I, I believe it's uh, recurring. Disease. So even there will be generations that are years from now, as a result of what is called maybe it was COVID 2019, and statistics in terms of about 7 million people worldwide are dying with COVID 19. Okay, let's now look at the history of the history of epidemiology. So the fact of uh, uh, the medicine is called complex, studied in the area of Spanish history. So there have been a lot of pandemics, a lot of different kinds of diseases studied from the Spanish history. From the likes of the yellow fever, smallpox, malaria, syphilis. So this, this is a in existence for a long time. Hippocrates. 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 So there have been a lot of um, interventions or a lot of discoveries in as far as uh, these occurrences have been in place. Hippocrates uh, started focused on the causes of uh, the ones that we see causes of things or depression, smallpox, malaria, sickness, and low fever. So he discovered that yellow fever is caused by a yellow fever mosquito called yellow fever mosquito called I think this is a scientific term. In 1883, Robert Conti discovered uh, that cholera is caused by vibrocholery cholera. So in uh, 1883, Robert Conti, 1883, these are some of the stories he discovered cholera. Actually, according to community health workers, 
in a moment they will establish the presence of set of needs or conditions for the That's why you need communion. For you to say, okay, we need 1,000 needs, you have to give a justification. Why needs? And these needs, where are you giving them to? So you put up a description to say, in the months of November, December, January, we have had these cases of marriage in this year. Eight rainbows, children at once being, um, being affected, and so on and so forth. So, you want to set up a condition for a disease, you want to justify for a health or service program or intervention, and sometimes you want to justify the funding. So, three things. Establish the presence of set of needs. Yes, fine for an establishment of the intervention recovery program and request for funding. And fail them to evaluate the effectiveness of an already existing program that is there. And see the shortfalls and how at least you can meet those shortfalls. Are you here? Okay. Justify rigorous for funding, evaluate effectiveness of an intervention that is already in place, and see how best you can find solutions to the shortfalls of an intervention. So, we can give an example from Poly. Poly is what are some of the interventions that have been put in place to keep calling? I mean, Koya has, has been there in the level. Mm -hmm. But let's talk now. What are some of the interventions that have been put in place to call it? There is Koya, Maya Bronco, Kutubizima. What are some of the programs many government have put to their hand in the calling? Telling people to keep themselves healthy. Okay, awareness campaigns, advocating for people's hygiene. Number two, what else? Vaccination. Vaccination, okay. So far, how many have put in have the vaccine? Or did it already? Never done it. Really? 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 You know, if people in the 1990s or my 2000, if let's say everyone in Malawi had been vaccinated. Then we are following the gene standards in medical. But even in the previous generations, as a doctor's name, ah, this is a white synthesis. So you, you remember the very immunity. Um, All the vaccine people have to get vaccine. From a vaccine, I think one thing for 150,000 and above. Very few. So polio will still be existing in years to come. Mm -hmm. That's why people think you will <laughs> problems should give them something. But I mean, there are a lot of things that people can do with their hands, with their brain, brain as a supporting people, place their power in these years. Right? Yeah, recently they trained more healthcare workers. To support in Macau, uh, movement for Macau, we've seen a lot of sensitization programs. So, if you want, you can try to evaluate some of these interventions. Okay, how effective uh, are the what um, sensitization programs? Like um, COVID nineteen. See, they they even went further. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know, but you haven't seen any of this uh, in a 
Ok, so far, when the technology has been updated, no. So far, I think the main is no. Okay, I'll say this is the justification of why we want to have funding, or this is the justification of why we want to improve the message. You work on cheetahs, so the importance of rights. Mm -hmm. 
So population at risk, these are those in the population who are susceptible to a particular disease or condition. Those in the population who are susceptible. You know what susceptible means? Population at risk, those in the population who are susceptible to a particular disease or condition. You know what susceptible means?
Okay, can you look for another rich area to find? Yes. Okay, any answer? Why do you want to find the answer? What's the name of the rich?
rates are mostly uh, preferable when calculating for acute diseases. So acute diseases are diseases that last three months or less. Diseases that last three months or less. Thank you. 
one preference. Uh, preference rate. This are current and new cases. More than new cases. So the number of new and old cases of the disease in a population in a period of time divided by the number in that population. So make sure that the period of time is specified. They actually need to be not to specify. How can you change that thing? All the new cases over, okay, all the new cases you need to make sure that over the number of populations. So, preference rates are mostly used in this and it's fully in this case. So, with incidents, we have a few different incidents. Preference rates most use chronic diseases. So chronic diseases are diseases that last three months to long. Mm -hmm. So some of the examples in the chronic diseases will be like crazy, the babies, cancer. So you have to know the disease and how it looks. Those are so really max out of the there should not change which rate should be So if you'd like to plan or develop uh, a Condition. So most we use the internet rates because they are like the longer distance. Maybe the preference, yes, they will support you to determine the value, but they will give you a picture with no prices. But you will want to check for something that has been doing real time. So an attack rate is the special incident rate. The special incident rate calculated for a linear population for a single disease outbreak, which is expressed as a percentage. Special incident rate. Calculated for a particular population for a single disease outbreak. Calculated for a particular population for a single outbreak. So Okay. So 
saying if the marriage is a sort of uh, description and experience of the Jews and Indians in the community. So it's, it's been all, it's been there. Yes, I agree. 